Google has rebranded and improved Bard AI, and it's now called Gemini AI. So in today's video, I'll be doing a head-to-head -head comparison between Gemini AI and ChatGPT to see the differences and see how they stack up against each other. So let's go ahead and get started. Before we get started, I gotta say Google has done a really, really good job with Gemini AI. I believe that this is going to be the only worthy competitor to go against ChatGPT, and they've included a lot of features and a lot of integrations with Gemini that stacks up equally or sometimes even better than ChatGPT. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I really like about Gemini is that it now has the Google Fact Checker included in the AI. So what that means is when you're using Gemini AI, you can fact check any of your information using Google. So for example, if we scroll down to this um, output that we get back from Gemini AI, it talks about the advancements in AI and it talks about some of the new trending news in AI. And if I click double check the response, Google will actually go ahead, go through that specific that specific output and it will fact check each one of those lines in order to tell me whether or not this content or this information is incorrect or if it's correct. There's a second layer of evaluation which you're able to do using Google to evaluate the statements that Gemini makes. So unlike ChatGPT, which you're not really able to fact check live information, you're able to do that on Gemini. So if you're unsure about the information which you're getting back, you're able to fact check it right um, at a click of a button and it allows you to have more trust and uh, have more uh, confidence in the information that you're getting back from Gemini. So that's the first real differentiator between Gemini and ChatGPT. The second is that Gemini is better with browsing the live web and it's better at using links. And this makes sense because Gemini is created by Google. So essentially, it's a lot easier for you to browse the live web and it's a lot easier for Gemini to understand links when you paste it into the chat box. Now, unfortunately, with ChatGPT, it's a little bit harder for it to read the live web and it's harder for it to understand prompts when it includes links. Thanks. ChatGPT does have web browsing included, but that is browsing with Bing, and sometimes it doesn't work the best from my experience. So I would say, just from the short experience that I've had with Gemini, with browsing the live web and using links within my prompts, I'm getting a lot better results from Gemini. And again, I think that's because it's used by Google. So Google is able to integrate Google live searches with Gemini very easily compared to um, ChatGPT, which is using Bing. The third differentiator between ChatGPT and Gemini is that Gemini has up-to-date information and it's continually trained. So I went over to Gemini and I asked it, what date were you trained up to? And this was the response in which I was able to get back. It told me that it is continually learning and that rather than saying that it was trained up to a specific date, it's more accurate to say that it has access to information that is recent as possible within the constraints of how it's designed. So it's not telling us an exact date that it's cut off, but because it has access to Google, I can ask it live and up-to-date information, such as what day is it today, and it will be able to tell me what day it is. So for example, I can ask it more up-to-date questions like who won the 2023 NBA championship. And as we can see here, Gemini will actually go ahead and pull the results, pull the actual scores of those games. While ChatGPT does actually give me that information as well, but it has to use Browse with Bing. Um, I'm sure Gemini is using Google as well, but it's a lot more seamless and more integrated with Gemini compared to when I use it with uh, ChatGPT. I'm able to get the information a lot quicker uh, from Gemini compared to ChatGPT. So I'm able to ask more up-to-date information. It seems as though Gemini is trained on more up-to-date information compared to ChatGPT. You also have some pretty cool features included in Gemini. So you have the ability to upload images. So that means that Gemini can read images. You also have the ability to use the microphone so you can actually speak your prompts. And they also have an image creation tool. So kind of like Dolly 3, you can ask it to create an image and it will be able to create an image for you. Now, I personally think that Dolly 3 is better at creating images compared to Gemini. Um, so at this point, I would still choose Dolly 3 in terms of image generation over Gemini, but it's nice that both of these chat boxes have AI image uh, included in both of them. So these are some of my favorite features included in Gemini and some of the things that separates Gemini from ChatGPT. But that doesn't necessarily mean that I would choose Gemini over ChatGPT because there's features included in ChatGPT that Gemini does not have.
For instance, ChatGPT has GPTs and plugins available. So this allows you to be able to do more with ChatGPT. You can connect it with plugins. You can create your own GPT to create specific use cases. So it allows you to be more customizable um, in your outputs and get more done with ChatGPT. And that is currently not available on Gemini. I also really like the playground mode in ChatGPT. This is primarily the mode that I use when I'm creating and writing blog posts. We don't have that feature included in Gemini, so it's a little bit harder for you to create markdown well formatted blog posts using Gemini compared to the playground mode. ChatGPT also has the ability to upload images but it also has the ability to upload files. So that means I can upload files onto ChatGPT and it will be able to read those files while I do not have that feature available on Gemini. And as I mentioned earlier, they both have image generation tools. When it comes to the overall quality and effectiveness and capability of ChatGPT versus Gemini, that is something that I'm going to need to assess over the next couple of days as I use Gemini more. But from first impressions, I am impressed by the output quality. I am impressed by the effectiveness and how smart the chat box is. Gemini has been giving me really, really good outputs, especially when it comes to generating long form articles and blog posts. But I'll continue to use both of these chat boxes and I'll have a better assessment of the output quality as I use them a little bit more. For now, I would still use ChatGPT over Gemini, and that's because we have a lot more features included in ChatGPT. And also, I still think the output quality is a little bit better when it comes to generating long form articles and blog posts, but that's the only specific use case that I, I really heavily use. If you use a different use case, then maybe Gemini might be better for you. I recommend checking them out both for yourselves and using it for your specific use case and see which one you like better. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.